welcome to one of the W and today I am comparing chapter one versus chapter two because we've been three seasons into chapter two and I think we have a good idea uh, on how it's gonna keep going. Now I think we know the future a little more now because we've you know we've been in three seasons of chapter two. So uh, I'm gonna compare events, the skin details, the um what is it? Um the map and also the weapons and all that because i think that those are like the main parts of a chapter um because events are really a, a big a big thing to the storyline and yeah let's just uh i think the best way to look at you know events and compare them to chapter one and stuff is to do it in a tier list form so let me start off with the um tier list so um i don't know what was first but i think this this wasn't really an event this um I don't think that the the falling meteors event was a, was an event. I don't think that counts. I think we have season four as the first one, which is the rocket one. I I don't really like this one because I don't know. It was just a rocket flying around. There wasn't much to it, and just because it was during season four, the peak of Fortnite, everyone was so hyped about it. It's overrated. Whatever. I'm gonna put this in the B rank. I mean, I think, I thought it was all cool and stuff, but it just, it didn't give me that wow factor, um, that it did back then. I mean, back then I probably liked it more, but now it's like, Ugh. And season five, what was season five again? The rocket, no, that was, uh, the cube travel. Season five, the cube, um, <laughs> if I have to rate this event, let me just, no, it's being a pain. No, no, no. Oh, I hate tier lists. Okay. So, Kevin in Season 5, um, it was not that great. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, I, I forgot what Season 5 had, but let's just, uh, let's just grab this, and I think it belongs in C rank. I mean, Kevin in the Cube was kind of overrated to begin with anyway, so, okay, I think I need a dragon instead, right here, to C rank, or... He, I might have to just... Okay. So... No, oh, I moved again. That's just great. Stay there. Stay. So, season six, we had the cube explosion, um, which is the butterfly event, a.k.a. the butterfly event, and I thought that was a cool one. I actually thought that was actually really good. I think I'm going to put that in A tier. I think that was a fair event in my eyes. That was a good one. I'm trying to do this in order on, on the seasons, okay? And now season 7, the Ice Storm one, which was the lamest one out of all of them. Even worse than the Star Wars one. Because it just covered the map in snow. And we just had that. And it's not that special. And it didn't do anything for the storyline. Absolutely nothing. Let's just put this... There's no F tier, by the way. I think this is broken. I hate this. I hate everything right now. I hate everything. Oh, Xbox is such a pain. Everything about it is just so... Okay. So, Season 7 definitely goes in F or E, whatever this wacky tier list is. Season 8, we had the Unvaulting event. Now, personally, I'm going to rate it an S. I think most people would probably rate it at least a B or an A because, you know, of the whole voting thing. But I think it was really good. I think it affected the core gameplay. It affected the map. It affected the storyline. It was a cool site as well. I mean, it did some it did some stuff um, that not many uh, other events have done. So let's just put that right there. I think Season 8 Volcano on Vaulting event was actually really good. Now Season 9, the final showdown, which had the Mech versus Monster fight. Um, it was good. I, I really liked the ending and the music and stuff. And the whole, it had a lot of meaning to it. I'm going to put this in A tier. I don't think it quite goes in S tier, but I think A tier is a, a good way to show that it was good. Like, really good. So, season 10. Where is season 10? I don't even know where it is. Um, hmm. Season 10. Season 10. Season X, the end. I think it was this one. This has to be the one. I'm going to rate it A. I reacted to this on my channel, and, um, you know... I was really shocked. I didn't know where the black hole was going to go. I didn't know the map. I didn't know. 
I didn't know much at all at the time, and then two days later, we got Chapter 2 Season 1, um, and I got a rating S. It was such a big transition to, you know, Chapter 2, and it was just great. The, it got the community talking, and it was just really good. So, then we got the Star Wars event, which is, I'll probably say D, I mean, at least it's better than the Ice King one, at least it had... At least it showed something instead of just snow, you know, like, I think people crap on the Star Wars one a little too much, even though it was bad anyway, but I think I got cropped on a tiny bit too much because it's free entertainment. They, they didn't have to do that, you know, so that's why I'm going to say that. And then the astronomical one, astronomical Travis Scott was an S tier, straight to S tier. I don't even need to say anything. Even though it didn't have anything to do with the story, it still was, it was still fantastic. The music was good, the transitioning, and the, the sound effects, and the, the effects on the actual event was really good as well. Definitely the A tier for me. And now we have the device event, and it was actually really good. I kind of liked it. I'm not even lying. It was actually... Oh, it was actually really good. <laughs> it was actually really, really good. And, um, now, the, oh, I forgot, what is this? The Marshmallow event. Shoot, I forgot this concert. Uh, I'm going to say a B. I think it was good at the time, and then Travis Scott just completely blew it, blew it out of the water. But it's still remembered as a great concert. So, the Chapter 2 Season 2 I think Chapter 2's events are going to get better than Chapter 1's, even though I still believe... I mean, we haven't had enough events yet, but... Right now, I think Chapter 1's uh, doing a little better. Like, the end event, the volcano event. Oh, that was so good. I mean, I love the Travis Scott, but it didn't have anything to do with the story, and that's what pulled it back a little bit. The device had something to do with the story as well, and that was great. So, that was the events. I think Chapter 1 does a little better. But the Travis Scott was really the best one from Chapter 2, honestly. So now we're going to go into the map. So here we go. So right here I have Chapter 1 Season 1 map and the Chapter 2 Season 1 map. And right away you can see a lot more color. The grass, the water, the plate, the everything about it has more color, more quality, you know, more water, which means more... It feels more like real life. And... You know, at first, people loved the cartoony feel of the Battle Royale and stuff, but I feel like Battle Royale games should be, in, like, taken in a, a more real-life perspective because you're, like, shooting and stuff, so it's like, man. And the POIs are better as well. Like, we actually have, like, a river. The Dirty Docks makes sense, whereas, you know, something like Lonely Lodge didn't make, didn't really, no one really cared. Tomato Town was so good and all, but it didn't really... I don't know, it was kind of small for a POI, and everything like that, so, I know this is Season 1, Chapter 1, but still, it was fair, and it's a little bit, the Chapter 2 one's a little bigger, and I wish it was a little smaller, but, um, I think Chapter 2 map is better, but I thought the Chapter 1 events were cooler, in my opinion, because the ones we have now is good, but it's not like the, the end of it, you know, the end, that was so good. Um, so now I'm going to compare the skins, so here we go. So what I mean by comparing skins is I'm comparing the quality of the skins, the uniqueness of the skins, and how it looks, obviously. So, um, I just typed in season 3 with all the season 3, the, uh, the gold ones versus the new ones, and right away the new ones are more unique, there's much more going on with it, like, look at this, like, smoke. With all the, the the original ones, it was kind of bland. It had weird colors to it, like, um, Rust Lore, like, eh, the Rogue Agent. I don't even like that. This was good and all, but the model is not good. The Wildcat model sucks. Those bulgy eyes don't work well with me. No. Whiplash, I gotta say, that was really good for, a, a, you know, a Chapter 1, Season 3 skin. And I gotta give it credit, so... Scott Defender is good, but it's kind of plain. I don't know. There's better skins with that color scheme than that. Yellow Jacket. I mean, look at the difference. Doesn't this feel more like a like an actual like like person in real life? 
like with all the, the jacket and the agent vibe, this just feels like, I don't know, it just feels like a, a skin in the video game. And that's what I'm feeling with all these chapter one skins like this, that's definitely chapter one. Whereas another skin similar to that, I guess, like this has more styles to it and all that. So I think the chapter two skins are better than the chapter one skins, in my opinion. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not thinking about nostalgia. I'm keeping that to the side, and I'm thinking about quality. Okay, quality is what I'm thinking about. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the weapons. So yeah. So let's just check out the the more popular weapons in this chapter, which which makes this chapter stand out. So, a new thing in this chapter was mythic weapons. Now, mythic weapons were never a thing in chapter one. We never had to fight bosses. We never had to earn it. We never had to just have that rarity in the game. So now, if you go to certain locations in the season and you see, uh, and you see the boss and kill him, you will get a reward, which is a mythic weapon. Now, uh, catty, at the Caddy Corner POI, you can kill Kit, which has Kit's charged shotgun and shockwave grenade launcher. Each boss has two um, mythic weapons attached to it. And now the Fortilla, you have Ocean's Burst Assault Rifle and Chug Jug, which is probably the best one out of the three. And then the Authority, you have Jules Drum Gun and the Infinite Grabbler, which is actually the best one out of all of them, in my opinion. And what do I think about the mythic weapons and all that? Because last, um, this season we don't have as many crazy, also we don't have as many f fun and crazy items like the shockwave grenades, the balance pads, the sh impulses, you know, the junk rift, the f storm flood. We don't have as many crazy items as well, which is kind of a little annoying because it's, you know, Fortnite after all. <clears throat> now, with the weapons and everything, I'm going to have to say chapter one. I'm not a fan, I mean, I love the mythic weapons, but... Not at the same time because, ah, man, like for new players that want to play, it's going to be unfair for them and, you know, it's kind of broken. I mean, every mythic weapon is broken, but I understand that you have to earn it and then you get it. But still, the bosses ain't that hard to kill. I feel like it's not that hard. I feel like every time I'm in top 10 or top 5, there's at least two people with mythic guns and... It's not, you know, people can get lucky getting the mythic weapons. You never know. And last season was more broken, but at least this season we have some more fair items. Um, but it require it, it, it requires, uh, I don't know. But I don't really go to the, you know, the mythic locations because I don't want that added pressure, up, you know, on the vault and all that. And I just go to a peaceful location and... That's what I miss. I miss all the crazy items without the whole mythic stuff. So I'm gonna have to say chapter one. I like the chapter one's better weapons better. Chapter twos have been a little safe with the weapons, a little trying to keep it easy, but it will probably pick up every season will probably pick up with the uh weapons, so I'm probably gonna expect that. It's probably gonna happen. Now we're gonna check out the I think we're done. I think we're actually done. We are done with the chapter one versus chapter two. I, I think I discovered and showed you all the main parts of it, like the map, the weapons, you know, the loot pool, um, the skins, and the XP. I might as well just say the XP as well if I go into Fortnite, because XP has been a big thing this season. Like, I mean, chapter, like, XP has been a big thing in Fortnite for a long time now, and I would have to say chapter 2 XP is better. I think, you know... Ugh. You know, the XP system in Chapter 2, where they combine the Battle Pass levels with the re regular levels into one level, I think it's better, it's more simpler, you know, you can actually earn stuff above level 100 this time, and the quick challenges are amazing, and the whole style to Chapter 2, I think it's better, so, whew, I think, um, if I, would ha if I had to say which chapter was better for me as, you know, in terms of my experience with everything, I would have to say chapter two. Boom. Chapter two, is, I think, is better. You know, you also get build umbrella, which you've never done in chapter one. You've never built a custom thing before. 
And I think people will just miss chapter one mostly for the nostalgia. I don't think, you know, if you got chapter one season three nowadays, people would definitely be underwhelmed from the season and people won't really like it. But uh, I think chapter two is better, although I do like chapter one weapons better and the events better. I think everything else, chapter two beats it, the map, the skins, and the XP and stuff. So there you go, there is my opinion on which chapter was better. I think it was a, um, a nice topic to just talk about since, you know, that's the main thing right now. We've, we're, we're three seasons in and we want to know which chapter was better. So, that is my opinion. Don't attack me. And bye-bye. Uh,